Hey guys, Danielle at Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses here, and I am so glad that you're here to enjoy this new episode. Um, cows. <laughs> the horses are on the other side. They're eating their dinner. They're all set and ready to go, and this episode is about the cows. Now, the baby calves, uh, specifically. Um, some of you guys have seen my other videos, and they were born the day before Mother's Day. And um, I want to say they're about, what, five weeks old now, I think? I don't know, something like that, five weeks. But um, we had some difficulties with them where they came down with what's called scours, which is basically diarrhea, really bad, really bad. Um, and I looked to a whole bunch of my farmer friends that are local here, and they helped me get through them, uh, told me what I needed to buy, and how to take care of them. So we shot them full of antibiotics and we got rid of some of their milk and um, uh, replaced it with electrolytes and um, yeah, and then gradually added the milk back. Come to find out that the milk that I was feeding them, they were getting sick. They, they just couldn't tolerate it for some reason. I don't know, because we switched milk brands to what was recommended by the dairy farmer that's right down here. Um, down the road here and uh, they've been doing wonderfully um, one more shot of antibiotics and they were just fine so now everybody's fine um, they have their own little water bucket that's their little water bucket over there so they've been drinking water um, for the past three nights they have been um, out here in the pasture they do have access to their barn and I have the stall open so they can still go in there if they want and they do but um, for the most part, they are allowed to come and go whenever they please um, out there. <laughs> they did get caught in here once, and um, it was pretty awful, but we got them out. And so I've been taping them every week. Um, every Monday, they get taped uh, as far as for weight. And they're supposed to gain about two pounds every day. So uh, last week, Magoo, the black and white one, um, my aunt calls him Gooey. <laughs> Um, he was weighing about 85 pounds. This week, he weighs about 110. So, let's see. Do the math. So, if you do the math, um, uh, 85, 110, that's 25 pounds. And if you divide that per day for seven days, that's roughly two pounds. So, that's good. That's We're on the right path with him, which makes me very happy because um, Magoo was the one that was going to die if he was going to die because he was pretty sick um so anyway uh it's feeding time right now and i have uh bottles and they get um 10 percent of their body weight in pints so if magoo weighs um 110 pounds he gets 11 pints and then um you convert that to quarts and you multiply that by two and it seems to be doing very well they're they're he's gaining the appropriate amount of weight in the appropriate amount of time frame. So I'm going to stick with that formula and it seems to be working. Um, so they get, uh, Magoo is supposed to get one and a half bottles, roughly, um, basically five and a half pints, five and a half quarts. Yeah. Yeah. Five and a half quarts. So anyway, he'll get a bottle and then in there, um, I have milk. So what I'm going to be doing is trying to get them to drink. My neighbor just came home. That's my neighbor. He just came home. So we're going to try to get them to convert into drinking from buckets because uh, it's usually me that's uh, doing the feeding. So it's really difficult to hold two bottles and then go run back into the house and go make two more and then come back out. So it'll be easier to put it all like when they start to get bigger and bigger because they're gonna drink all of that. So right now there's only one quart in each bucket um, and that's their half of what they're supposed to get from their second bottle. So we're gonna do that and see how that goes and you guys get to see how it all goes too. So um, wish me luck, we're gonna do the buckets first and then the bottles. So I'm gonna set you guys up over here. I hope, I hope. You guys will be able to see what's going on. Um, I'm not sure. Here, baby cows. Baby cow. Come on, baby cow. Baby cow, come on. Thank you. 
you guys can see. Come on, baby cows. Come on. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh, look at this. Let's put all that in here. Got milk in there? Come here, my goo. What's in here? I don't think they know what's in it yet. Oh. Oh. There's milk. Ooh. I think Magoo's figuring it out. Chuckle's not so much. Come on, Chuckle. What is in there? Go ahead. What's in? What's yours? What do you think? You better figure it out. Come here. supposed to drink your milk. Hey, you want some milk? It's okay. It's water. Get some milk. Ooh, what's that? There you go. That's the same thing. Ooh. Milk. Milk. There you go. Milk. Ooh, there you go. There. There you go, very good. Come on. I know you're hungry. Come on, I know you're smart. You can figure it out. There you go, yeah, there you go. You're figuring it out. And away they go. Well, not really. There, now the way they go. So, what you guys didn't see was, um, hey, knock it off. Hey, thank you. Is, uh, that, uh, Chuckles, right here is Chuckles. Chuckles! Um, get. What you, what you didn't see was Chuckles did actually drink out of the bucket. And he, ah! And, um, he did, he drank it all. Get. That is not your mama. You know that. So, um, yeah, he drank from the bucket and he finished all of it, nearly all of it. Um, so I did give the rest to Magoo. And Magoo's a couple of days behind Chuckles anyway. So, uh, yeah. But they're grazing and they're doing things that cows need to do. And we'll give Magoo another little bit of extra bottle a little later on tonight. Because he didn't get his full second half of his bottle. Because um, Miss Fatty right here, yep, decided he was going to drink it all. Which is fine. And you have a bug on your forehead. Yep, you do. So, um, yeah. So that's that. That's uh, Chuckles there. And he's getting his little horns in. Right here. Because his little horns are coming in. They're coming in pretty good every day. They're coming a little bit higher, a little bit higher. So pretty soon, he'll have horns. Boop, 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 boop. And then uh, Magoo's getting his little nubs. But he's a lot less friendly than, than Chuckles. So Chuckles is looking pretty good. Not bad for 135 pounds. So anyway. Anyway, um, you guys have a great day, a great night. I'm going to go make myself some supper and feed the horses and I cannot wait for the horses to come over here. Look how deep this is. This is like really, I need another horse on here because they're not going to eat all of this and this, most of it's going to go to waste. So I don't want to do that. That's awful. But um, I think I need to borrow somebody's horse. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching me attempt to bucket feed these guys for the first time. And uh, hopefully the next time is going to be a little bit better. So have a great night and I will see you next time on Summerfield Farm and draft horses wherever they are. <laughs> Bye.